What's up everyone? It's Smangle from TechHauler.com and today we're going to show you how to wipe a hard drive completely for free using a live media Ubuntu flash drive. It's very simple to do, very efficient. If you need to do kind of like a no data recovery on a hard drive, you plan on selling your hard drive, we'll make sure nobody can get your data recover it uh, this is what you want to do so we have here a Lenovo Think Center M710Q and it's just a little uh, what they call it a, a small computer or thin computer uh, I mean it's a great device it's great for you to hide it's great for you to hide behind like monitors very they're powerful they work great but uh, these are old and we need to wipe them and resell them. And we're gonna do that with a USB stick. And all we're gonna do is put Ubuntu on it. I actually use, the flavor on this is Kubuntu, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. All you need is to make a live drive. Ubuntu, Kubuntu, it don't matter. As you see here, I have everything hooked up. Uh, you also want to have network though. You want network for this to work. Of course we want to hit F12 on this Lenovo. Get to the boot screen. We're going to select Ufi, the Pony USB 3.1 because that's where Kubuntu's on. We're going to try our install Kubuntu. So Kubuntu's loading on this Lenovo. It's pretty cool. I got the Lenovo logo and Kubuntu logo loading. Come to this screen. Hope you guys can see it. Uh, I do need to just capture while I do this, but uh, it's kind of an easy way to do it. It's not too hard. On your keyboard, you want to hit Control Alt F3, and it gives you a terminal login. Okay, so in Kubuntu, probably even Ubuntu, uh, hopefully you can see right here the login. With Kubuntu, I'm just going to type in the username Kubuntu no password and I'm gonna get logged in here so now you gotta update the system sudo apt update let it run the updates get you know fresh packages whatever it don't really matter uh, this, like this is a live system so we don't care if it really does anything uh, there's probably a way to just have it ready on this. Like I said, there is an OS called Secure OS that can do this as well, but I find that it doesn't want to load on a bunch of uh, legacy hardware, or it just this is just easier to me is just to install NWAP on a live disk. It, it works virtually on everything I've tried it on so far. So sudo apt install in wipe so in wipe if you guys are familiar with d band it's Derek's boot and nuke this is supposed to be the uh, successor to it cause d band hasn't been updated in like I don't know since 2015 so now we just do sudo in wipe so here's where you need to be careful too with this screen. You need to make sure you don't select the USB drive, you select your hard drive. Fortunately mine is NVMe in or zero N1 MVEs, 120 gigabit SSD MV2, M.2. Uh you know these are thin clients and they're relatively new, so they got M.2s in them, so that's kind of nice. I don't look like the refresh rate's going. Hope you guys see that. I'm gonna select it. And down at the bottom of the screen, it's going to tell you that you need to hit S to start. You can change the method if you want to do other things, but DLD short is good enough for me, so we're just going to hit uh, Shift S to get a capital S, and it's going to start running it. And this takes a little while, but after you're done, you're it, like be prepared to let this run. It's according to your hard drive. This does, and your processor. This does take a while to do. Uh, of course, you could put other hard drives in your computer if you wanted to and wipe them this way as well. Might be easier than to boot every computer, but sometimes you don't want to just 
unplug hard drives and plug them back into like a dock or something. This is easy. Plug up your computer, live, install NWIPE, and let it wipe. And your hard drive shouldn't be recoverable after that. All your data should be safe. But if you like tech tips like this, be sure to check out techholler.com and follow me over on Twitter at TheSmango. We'll see you guys next time. Let me know if you guys got any comment there comment down below let me know if you guys got any more tips that's handy like this i'll be glad to share them out we'll see you guys on the next one